I got money, I got power, I smoke good weed every day in LA. Sipping so much, I might have to join AA. <laughs> JK. What is going on guys, it's your boy Andrew and it's back with another video, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into anything though, be sure to leave a like, comment, sub, all that good stuff man. Trying to get to 50 subscribers as soon as possible. Appreciate anybody who watches and subs, and let's get into the gameplay man. So over the course of the last few weeks man, we've finally been getting 2K22 news man. NBA 2K22 is right around the corner, I believe the release date is September 10th. Pretty insane that we are already less than a month away, actually we were exactly a month away from the game man. Pretty hype about it too, I mean uh, hopefully the uh, game is amazing. But we've gotten some minor gameplay news, um, minor talks about the city, the neighborhood, whatever you want to call it. Things happening in both games, and we're going to talk about right now all the new stuff that they talked about, and uh, a pen uh, potential news coming this week, and also potential leaked gameplay. Uh, so let's get into it right now, man. So throughout these last few weeks, 2K has finally been teasing NBA 2K22 news throughout their channels, um, their blogs, their Twitter, their Instagram, everything. From Mike Wang to Ronnie2K to all of the developers, we're finally getting news, man. 2K22 hype is starting to build, and uh, some of the features they've uh, announced so far have been pretty hype, including uh, the most important things. So uh, what we found out about two weeks ago is that we're going to be getting... NBA 2K22 current gen and next gen on two separate cities slash neighborhoods, man. So the neighborhood for 22 on current gen is going to be on a cruise ship. So imagine playing 2K on like a hijack map from BO2. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny to me. Um, it's pretty insane as well, and I'm kind of excited for that. And then 2K22 next gen will be a revamped city. Now, do I really believe this? Not really. I mean, it is 2K, so we'll see how much they can actually revamp it. But apparently, the NPC on both games is much more engaging. You're gonna have storylines within my career that are going to go into park as well it's not just going to be you know my career you play you grind for your badges and then you get bored and then you just play park and you redo it all over and over again when you want to make your builds apparently it's going to be a little different but uh yeah man so that's one of the first um gameplay related news that we were able to get in terms of that a few days ago we finally got the soundtrack leaked nothing too crazy to me i really don't care about the soundtrack but um they have popular artists like travis scott juice world jack harlow uh j cole's on there Nas is on there some pretty cool artists i guess but like i don't really care about that personally i always end up muting the soundtrack because you can't get copyrighted when you're making videos but for the gameplay 2k finally announced some gameplay things so 2k sports stated that the game will offer best in-class visual presentation for player ai historic teams a um, bunch of things like that are being added into the game but on the offensive end 2k22 will have greater emphasis on basketball iq with left stick dribbles allowing players to break down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos as well as precision jump shooting dunking in traffic and more skilled based alley-oops along this they have also added a completely new set of defensive of tools which features revamp shot contest and blocking systems so this is a great thing for 2k man if they're able to actually revamp the defensive engine within this game because the last few years it has been pretty awful it'll make a big difference in the game one of the things that i've always vouched for is being able to control where you're going to be blocking a shot so in 2k22 um 2k21 sorry next gen especially it's even worse if you play if you play if you click on the block button man like if you press triangle to try to contest something your guy will jump in the opposite direction of where the person is attacking even though you see where they're going and it's ex it's extremely frustrating man the fact that you can't control that so if they can have something like that that would be amazing man that would be truly awesome um but yeah man hopefully that's what they do on top of all this man that offensive engine as well man that is just as important as the defensive engine this year uh it is crucial that this game honestly is great on both ends because the defense in next gen is absolutely abysmal man the blow by animations are absurd it is as bad as it was in 2k15 14 and 17 it was just awful in all those games the snatchback like all these little glitchy things there will be something in this game most likely but if the defensive engine can be fixed as well as the offensive engine as you guys saw they were talking about the dribble moves man if they can fix isolation players again and make them great it's going to be a great year man a bunch of great youtubers like g-man steez with a god these youtubers will start to come back and want to actually play the game because it's something that we're missing out on a lot of the quality content from our favorite youtubers are really not being shown anymore man and it truly does suck it's something that i enjoy doing and if isolation was good i'd play 2k every day with a smile on my face. So far in terms of gameplay, that's all we've received from 2K themselves. Uh, not too much to really think about. The city and the uh, neighborhood are the only two things that I'm really worried about, man. Honestly, I'm so worried about next gen 2K. I really hope it ends up becoming good because it's what I want to play personally. I know a lot of people don't have the PS5 or the Xbox Series X, but the more that they are produced, the more that people will come around to it. A lot of people who actually have the PS5 are playing current gen. So they're not really even using the PS5 to its fullest extent, man. 2K uh, this year is only at 60 uh, 
Hertz instead of 120, which is what the PS5 can handle. So the fact that they actually downgraded that much on the PS5 is pretty absurd, man. Like 2K is the only game that does that. Cold War does not run like that. Warzone does not run like that. It is just 2K. I don't even think MLB runs like that. And you know, just some of the things that they can add in terms of features. Um, the only thing, the only other thing that we've gotten is for my career, um, which is apparently like throughout the storyline, you're able to create like your own fashion business. And you're also able to, oh, it's right here. You're also able to pursue a hip hop career on the side of 2K's new storylines. To me, like, I don't, I don't really get why they'd add that. That doesn't really help the game in any way. There's no gameplay added. There's no cool, that's not, that's not even really a cool feature. I mean, maybe to some people it is, but not a lot of people play park and my career for the storyline itself. If the storyline does tie into the park, then that's fine. But having a fashion business is like the only thing I could think of that would be pretty cool because you can customize your own clothing and kind of look quote unquote dripped out as motherfuckers would say on the park. You know, it's bad funny, the, the drippy face scans and shit. Like that would be the only thing that's actually kind of cool is making your own clothing, wear, rocking whatever you want. So that'd be kind of hard, but the hip hop part of it, like I don't understand why you'd want that in a 2K game. It has nothing to do with basketball in my opinion, um, but Besides that, man, nothing else, no new features besides the seasons being added. 2K22 is what I'm, it's honestly, like it's, it's, such, it's such an important game this year, man. If 2K22 flops, the 2K community is really done for, man. Like, honestly, it is the only chance they have left to really revive their community. And it's including myself, man. If this game is a flop, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back to it. I'm probably going to stick on, stick on Call of Duty, and this would be, end up being a Call of Duty channel. I'm thinking about posting more gameplay of that regardless because 2K21 is so dry, even with my team content coming out. Uh, park content, you guys are watching Park in the background. It's been a minute since I've played Park. Hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay, by the way. But uh, yeah, man, so 2K22 on next gen. Apparently, they're going to have matchmaking, which is a big up. But at the same time, they already had matchmaking on 21 next gen for the events, and it was a big flop. Constant lag outs, constant error codes. Um, the connection was unbearable on that game so hopefully that if they fix it and make it right it would be cool but 2k22 current gen does not have that but honestly the features they have for the cruise ship are pretty amazing man you can apparently travel on the cruise ship to different locations in the water and it ends up becoming like a whole new situation and apparently they're going to be adding cities not cities um seasons into 2k22 next gen and current gen and if that's the case kind of like my team what they did that would be incredible man features rep rewards everything can be upgraded and made so much better for the game if they just listen to the community man i really hope that they don't mess up the rep rewards and the gameplay to me those are the two most important pieces and also the builder system in this game man so as we all know 2k21 next gen was a big flop for the builder system and so was 21 current gen a big step down from 20s builder system which was honestly pretty good now that i think about it there was so many unique builds in 2k20 that were usable my friend had a lob threat to a sharpshooting playmaker to my build which is an offensive threat i mean there's just so many builds you can make in 2k20 that were always usable and at the end the most usable build ended up becoming this big power forward playmaker type build which is pretty fun and unique and you have to be skillful at the game to use it 21 though all you could do on current gen is make a play shot and on this game if you're not a six foot seven power forward you're basically at a disadvantage the entire game because the six foot seven power forward can have the most badges in the game has the best animations in the game and can basically play like a center or a point guard whenever it feels like it, man. So they really messed up the game in terms of the quality and the way that the game should have been played, man. So if they can fix that along with the gameplay, the features, make my team greater. They have so many things they can do. This year, they really took a big flop with the uh, token market in my team. I'm actually on 21 my team right now. If you look at the my team rewards, man, they were such a big L this year. They could have done so much more with the packs. Um, they could have done so much more with the seasons themselves. Give us better rewards in both game modes, man, because honestly, both game modes, at the end of the day are the main core of the game no not a lot of people play nba uh, quick play not a lot of people play my gm so this is the most important part of the game make sure that your best gameplay features are the actual best gameplay features in the game because a lot of the times man like these both these game modes end up getting super stale about midway through the year people get bored they want the new 2k and uh, i want that to be a time where we can still enjoy the game man because the new seasons the hype i was able to play 21 next gen my team for basically the whole year without getting too bored of it but i, I got sick of park three months in man and that never happened so uh hopefully next gen is amazing current gen sounds like it's gonna be awesome I just hope they fix the dribbling, man. But besides that, man, no other news. We've gotten a few screenshots of Luca and Dirk. They both look great. Graphics have always looked nice in this game. Like I said, um, never been a big deal about that. And then they announced the additions of the game, the release date. Um, yeah, man, hopefully this game is amazing. And keep our fingers crossed, man, that it does end up turning out to be the game that I want it to be or that we want it to be as a community, man. But uh, yeah, but other than that, like I said, no new news. Um, 
today pretty slow day it has been i think two weeks since 2 ks announced anything or was it last week that they announced the soundtrack it's been about a week it's been about two weeks without any gameplay news i'm expecting something it is the beginning of august it is august 9th now and we still haven't gotten anything crazy i think august 16th might be a day where we get an actual trailer man because the game is literally a month and a, a month away so i mean they have to release something in terms of gameplay if not then i don't know what their uh, release strategy is this year they really i thought they were going to start banging things up but what i think they actually are doing is when they do release news besides the soundtrack they're releasing in bulks of like like it's a crazy amount of news constantly like we ended up getting news uh the first the first set of news was a big article about the gameplay features uh my team uh, my career park for both next gen and current gen we never receive news like that in such big bulks it's usually very slow and it's usually every other week that we ended up getting something but this week or this this uh time around for the 2k release cycle it has been a little different um I don't know if it's this if it's a smart strategy. I think I, I'm assuming it is, but they could have really taken advantage of some of the hype they had when they announced the cover athletes. Man, people were really turning their heads. You know, TikTok is a great way to exp expand your platform, and 2K really did take a use of that, showing Luca as the uh, mocap person with Kevin Durant as well, working on the game. It was a smart move by them, but then after that, man, the news kind of slowed down. Hopefully, we get a trailer as soon as possible or gameplay news. Regardless, I just want to see something besides some screenshots. Um, they haven't even shown overall of players yet, which is pretty surprising. They usually do that as well. And I think we got our first 2K21 next gen trailer back in March of last year, man. So definitely a weird release party, a release setting that they have for the game. But I, I know 2K knows what they're doing. They're a billion dollar corporation. They know what they're doing. They're smart with the game. Hopefully, it just like I said, turns out to be what I want it to be. And uh, yeah, man, besides that, not, not much else to talk about in terms of that, man. My team videos will be coming out soon. I am uh, still grinding my team. Not too crazy, though, because like I said, it is the end of 2K's life cycle. To be honest, nobody really wants to see gameplay like that anymore my last video is out by the way if you guys haven't seen it make sure to go check it out guys i really appreciate it it was a no money spent episode so i might come out with maybe one or two more but to be honest my team is kind of dead man and so is park but park i'm enjoying more than playing my team i might start posting call of duty until it comes out i do want to live stream i know i say it every single video but i really do want to live stream guys it's just hard i don't like live streaming alone and a lot of times my friends are flip flop on it you know I'll, they'll hop on but maybe it'll only be for like an hour and i don't want to live stream for one hour and then get off i think that's a waste of time i'd rather live stream for about two to three hours and then call it a day and then upload a video the day after but um hopefully i can get on that schedule uh like i said 2k22 should be coming out with more news very soon i think by the end of this week we are going to get something now is it a gameplay trailer i'm not entirely sure but i do believe we are going to get some type of news this week because it has been three weeks man three weeks with no gameplay news that's a long time uh, a few leaks have come out there was a little bit of it was like some video people showing what it's going to be like when you get on the cruise ship but to be honest man it looked like somebody just edited hijacked from black ops 2 and they just tried to make it look like it was you know you getting on the cruise ship in 2k22 so i think it's cap but it might be true who knows man it would be so dope though like hopping onto a ship like that's pretty awesome um hopefully that hopefully that ends up becoming like you know something that they can evolve on and expand on in the next 2k and the next one like i just don't want them to constantly repeat their cycle of taking l's you know a lot of things this year are very crucial to the 2k com community as a whole so uh, hopefully they don't flop i don't think they will man um honestly i think they got this one in the bag this was a drop it was a flop and i don't think they're gonna do a back-to-back -back years man hopefully 2k22 is better than 2k19 like i said but uh, i think that's gonna wrap it up for the video hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay in the background like i said i haven't played park in a while i'm gonna start posting more park gameplay maybe call of duty some more my team probably and uh yeah man hopefully we ride out the end of this month make it to 50 subscribers and then 2k22 we go nuts man be sure to leave a like comment sub all that good stuff and i'll catch you on the next video man peace